What's up? I'm back at it with a video about how to integrate Flipgrid into your Canvas. Um, so I have a brand new uh, Canvas course here. I'm going to take you through step by step. Um, do make sure that you uh, log into Flipgrid before we start. Create an account, but don't do anything else. Just create an account and then let it sit there. Um, so the first thing we're going to do is go into your course settings. You're going to go all the way over to apps. You're going to search for Flipgrid. There it is. You're going to add the app. Now this is where you need your consumer key. You go back to uh, Flipgrid. You click on your little uh, icon guy, integrations, copy the consumer key, go back to uh, Canvas, paste it, go get your shared secret, copy it, go back here, paste it, add app. Awesome. So now it's in our thing. Uh, do not go to navigation and add it up top. It's going to show up here in a second. Um, it takes a second to add. So there's Flipgrid. Leave it down here. Do not move it up here. You don't want the kids to have access to it on the left. You want them to only access it through your assignments. So the next thing we're going to do is go to your assignments. You are never going to go to Flipgrid.com again. You're only going to use it in Canvas. Add assignment. Assignment name. We're going to do Flipgrid number one. Do the thing. Awesome. Uh, so remember, if you want to add a rubric, like I emphasize in my other video, uh, this is the point where you need to either save it as a no submission or an online submission. You go down, save it, add the rubric, and then go back to edit. Okay. Uh, that's if you're using a rubric like I've used in my other video. Uh, if you don't care about the rubric, you can skip straight to this step. You go to external tool, you find it, we go find flip grid, select, awesome. Change all of your other stuff that you want, how many points, when is it due, save and publish. Now the beauty of Flipgrid and Canvas is that it automatically uh, creates a course group for you and the topic. You don't have to do that in Flipgrid because it does it for you. Um, and in fact, you can't go to Flipgrid and do this and then integrate it into Canvas. You have to do it through this Canvas window. Okay, um, so in here is where you could uh, edit this uh, assignment. Okay, um, click on the edit button here. Awesome. So here are the things that you can edit. You could edit the title. Um, I wouldn't just so it matches your Canvas title. Um, I would leave this too because it'll link directly to your Canvas assignment, which is fantastic. Uh, you can change the recording time. You can add captions, video moderation. This is a cool one where um, uh, if you turn it on, students won't be able to see the other videos until you approve them. So if you have a class that you're worried about, like what they're going to post, or if you have uh, a class like my class that doesn't like each other seeing their videos, you can turn that off and use Flipgrid as a closed thing where they can't see each other um, or just where you have to approve it before it can be seen by everybody. Okay. Um, for the topic focus, the media, you can add uh, whatever you want. I like to add a GIF because that's just my sense of humor. Uh, oh, these are interesting. We'll do the unicorn one. Sure. Um, and then you scroll down, select. Awesome. So this is going to show up in my, uh, topic now. Um, you can add a link for them to respond to. Oh, and all of these different, uh, medias that they can respond to. It could have been like a YouTube video. It could have been a video that I recorded that I want them to respond to. There are a bunch of options in there. So check that out. Um, you can set a topic to active or frozen or hidden. You can assign uh, when it's done, like when they don't, they can't submit anymore. If you're like a hard deadline person, uh, notifications, all this kind of stuff. So check out all these settings. Video editing is fun. They can edit the video right in um, Flipgrid comments, uh, likes, sticky notes. That's where they can see something while they're recording and it doesn't show up in the final recording. Um, yeah, cool. So then we update topic. Beautiful. And so this is my prompt over here. That could have been a YouTube video or anything again. Um, and all of this is done through Canvas. Don't go to flipgrid.com. Um, so now let's go see what this looks like from a student view. Um, so settings, we're going to go student view. Okay. Now um, students can see it through their assignments. Again, don't let them go on the left. Um, I make them always go through an assignment just so I'm training them because if they go directly to Flipgrid, it will not show up in SpeedGrader and SpeedGrader is life. Um, okay, so now they can record a response here. They can record it right in Canvas. They don't have to go to Flipgrid. They don't have to do anything else. Um, and it will automatically upload to SpeedGrader. Uh, and if you use a rubric, use a rubric. Here's the big button, the big record button. 
So I pulled up, I made a fake student account with my personal email just so I could really see what students were seeing. Um, and this was an assignment where one kid uh, submitted, actually my, my um, student view account submitted. Uh, and so this is what a student would see if another student has already submitted to the grid, uh, literally in the assignment. So again, it's in this Canvas window, but I have access to Flipgrid. And in fact, I'll show you exactly what that looks like. Here are the assignments. Um, down here is my uh, Flipgrid, uh, I lost it, with student submission, and it pulls up, and it just pulls up right there in the window, it's fantastic. Um, but anyway, so there's the name of my course, um, here's the name of the assignment, there's the little GIF that I posted. I can record a response here as a student right now, I could record a response here as a student, but look, I can also see um, the other student's video. So if I go click on that other student's video, I can view it. Um, I can record a response as a student. Remember, this is all what the students are seeing. Um, I can comment on the video. Uh, so all of the stuff that you would be able to do through Flipgrid directly, I can do right here in Canvas. There was a question about teachers giving video feedback um, because that's a nice thing in Flipgrid that you can do. You can just record yourself um, and, and give feedback right there. You do have the capability in SpeedGrader. Um, and I wanted to point that out. Uh, so if I go to my student that has submitted, um, there's their submission. It just shows up, uh, you know, the little Flipgrid logo. And then here's my rubric. Don't get me started. Go watch my other video. Um, but down here below assignment comments, you have the ability to attach a file. Um, so if you've previously recorded a video, you could upload it here. Or um, and I'm not going to open it because I look atrocious. Um, but if you click on this media comment button that kind of looks like a YouTube button, um, it gives you the opportunity to record a video uh, comment right there in uh, uh, in Canvas and then attach it as a comment. The kids will get the notification uh, just like they do every other uh, grading thing in Canvas. And then it's all in one place and you don't have to go to Flipgrid. So I uh, hope that helps. Let me know if you have any more questions.